Good morning, gladiators. Today is Friday, February 5th. So we are going to review Foursquare. Uh, we're going to open up the slides and look at the information to familiarize ourselves once again with um, the planning graphic organizer of a Foursquare. And then you're going to complete your own Foursquare. You're going to choose a prompt that's provided there. Uh, and you're going to just complete a Foursquare over the prompt of your choice. We're going to read Chapter 5 and complete um, character traits slide for our project. So if you remember, a, floor, a four square um, is the pre-writing graphic organizer that we use to help us elaborate on a prompt or a topic so that we can write an essay. Using this essay, this, this is, um, we use the recycling essay when we learned argumentative. Now we have taken that same essay and taken out the counterclaim, and we've also um, taken out extreme language, very persuasive language, and turned this the same essay into an in, informational essay. So I want you to take a moment and read these four paragraphs and see if you can complete a four square in your LMB. So you just draw um, a, a cross so that you have four boxes and um, you're gonna complete a four square over this essay. So you'll look for a thesis. So box one is an introduction where you will write your thesis. You should also have a lead and a bridge if you remember. Um, box number two would be your first body paragraph. Here you would write the topic sentence and any examples or supporting ideas or an explanation. And then box three would be your second body paragraph and then the, which you would do the same way. And box four is your conclusion where you would restate the controlling idea and of course end with a compelling and engaging sentence. So looking at, um, so take a moment, press pause, and complete that assignment. So box one, again, is the controlling idea. Here you would write um, what you would put in your informational essay. In the essay, Recycling a Breath of Fresh Air, can you imagine the putrid stench produced by a garbage dump is the lead, the hook, which starts your introduction paragraph. Here is my thesis or controlling idea. Recycling is important because it reduces waste and saves the planet for future generations. This is my topic, recycling. Here is my reason one, re it reduced waste, and reason two, it saves the planet for future generations. In the middle here is my bridge or information that um, talks on top. Box number two is, of course, paragraph two, but it's our body paragraph one. And then we would have our topic sentence, so we would be talking about it, how it re reduces waste, and then we would provide examples, text to text, text to self, text to world. First, recycling helps to reduce the trash in landfills is our topic sentence. And this would be an example um, of that topic. Box number three is our second body paragraph with a topic sentence and an example. Furthermore, recycling helps save our planet for future generations. And then an example would be by doing our part in recycling, we can hopefully reverse climate change and preserve the earth for our children. Um, that would be an example. And there's an example in here, energy companies, manufacture, process refined new materials contribute to pollution. And then our last paragraph would be our conclusion. In this box, we would restate our controlling idea and then we would end in an engaging um, sentence for our readers. Recycling not only diminishes the amount of waste in our landfills, but it also helps to preserve and save our planet. The same controlling idea, just restated in a different way. Our engaging sentence, stop and think, do you really want to contribute to the tons of garbage sent to the dump daily? So here are our three prompts. You are going to pick a prompt 
and then you're going to complete um, a, just a four square and we have the assignment here and there will be a slide with the four square an empty four square that you are going to you are going to produce over one of these topics when we're done with that we're going to read chapter five over a refugee and then of course we're going to complete um, the chapter five slide which is character traits and that's all I have for you today, gladiators. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see everybody on Monday.